here are some of the airspace areas that are not that common, but still on the part 107 exam. LAA, which stands for Local Airport Advisories. This is an advisory system for airports that have a part-time tower and broadcast on a radio frequency. MTR, which is a military training route and is exactly what it sounds like. On the sectional chart, these are identified as IR or VR and are then followed by a three or four digit number. IR is an indication for instrument flight rules. VR is an indication for visual flight rules. If there are three digits, that means that at least part of the route is above 1500 feet AGL. And if there are four digits, that means that none of the route goes above 1500 feet AGL. Parachute jump aircraft operations. These icons can be found where parachute jumping is very frequent and drone pilots should stay away from these areas. VFR routes, also known as VFR flyways and VFR corridors. Sometimes when smaller aircraft are looking to fly around busy airspace, such as Class B for busy, they would prefer to stay away from larger aircraft, especially those with jet engines. These VFR routes are specific routes for these planes to fly by and are published in the aviation chart and the terminal area planning charts. Or VFR tax. Terminal radar service areas are equipped with radar and air traffic control services to keep the flow of air traffic coordinated and separated. Although they're not controlled airspace, they can still be found on the sectional chart with a gray box and numbers inside of them to indicate the floors and the ceiling. Next is National Security Areas, abbreviated as NSA. These are areas on the ground that require additional security and safety. Flying over these areas can be prohibited and will be communicated through NOTAM. If the FAA requests pilots to voluntarily fly through these areas, it would be wise for a drone pilot to do the same. Air Defense Identification Zones, or ADIS. These are areas where civil aircraft is controlled for the interest of national security. Most notably, there's an ADIS over Washington, D.C. On to the next one. Now, similar to TFRs, FRZs are flight restricted zones that are permanent. There's an FRZ that is 13 to 15 nautical miles and surrounds the DC area. And another interesting airspace area is for tethered balloons. Yep, the balloons that you use for observation and weather recordings. Sometimes these cables can extend up to 60,000 feet. So these are noted as an airspace area on the sectional chart. And lastly, wildlife areas, wilderness areas, and national parks. Superintendents of the national park system have the control to prohibit launching, landing, and operations of unmanned systems within the parks. Again, these aren't controlled airspaces, but in case you forgot, 